Good morning, everyone. I haven't combed my hair yet. This is my Dunder Mifflin cup. Once a year, I buy a Christmas ornament and a coffee cup. So, you're probably wondering why I'm in front of this makeup table. It's because at the last minute, I got a date. Yeah, I kid you not. I'm definitely not going to wear a low-cut top because my last date asked me my bra size. Yeah. Um, I definitely am not going out on a date with him again. Uh, my daughter said I should have asked how big he was, right? Yeah, that's what I should have done. So, uh, I got to head to the post office. I have so many clothes. I'm sending some more to my daughter. I am purging a lot of stuff because I don't want whoever is going to go through my stuff when I die to have to deal with this crap. You know? Yeah, I'm still upset about Lisa Presley. And then the little girl who did the first Wednesday Wednesday dance on the Adams Family just passed. Oh my God, she was so young. Why are these young people just going? Uh, yeah, that's one reason why I'm in the situation I'm in because I thought I didn't think I was going to live this long, uh, or I would have gotten a, a lot more support for being in a marriage for. 40 years, I would have gotten a little bit more. I just didn't think I needed it. I didn't think I was going to live to this age. So keep that in mind, people. Even when I was like 15, I decided to uh, do the deed because I didn't think I'd live to see 17, right? I was close on that, though, because I was in the hospital at 16. So I woke up in the middle of the night with a very bad dream. Don't laugh, but this was the dream that I just had new carpet installed. And um, someone came in with muddy boots and just tracked it all up really bad. To me, that is a bad dream. I had to deal with that in the tree company when all the employees would come in from the, it raining and um, the whole office floor would be just in a sad, sad shape. So, yeah, I'm going to send a box to my daughter and uh, of clothes. She's really not keeping too many people informed of her, of her situation. But, you know, it's hard to keep secrets in our family. <laughs> Definitely, I'm going to clean my ears. Oh, my God. I could, I'll do this off camera. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't want you all to see this. Oh, my God. So... Yeah, on that Dollar Tree haul, a lot of you uh, enjoyed it. I didn't realize that everything was $1.25. I thought some of the stuff was going to be like $2 or $3. Yeah, it was very fun doing that. Uh, yeah, um, I have nothing. This is the first time in my life I've actually run out of toilet paper. I have never run out of toilet paper in my whole life. I've always been the one that had three of everything. And yeah. So, I'll go over some of the products that I used yesterday. This is the Brow Power. Now, when you first see my opening thumbnail, you will see where it says products. You can click on that. It may not be the exact product, but it'll be close enough. This is Brow Power. Um... Yeah, this is from it, I'm sure, it cosmetics. For my skincare, I use skin, S-K-I-N-N dot -N com. Uh, Dimitri James. He used to be on Shop HQ. Now he's on HSN. 
um, so, um, this is the blush. I should shine it up for you. Um, it says Ombre Radiance. Uh, this is a close, close to Anar's Orgasm. This happens to be an It brush. No, excuse me. Wet and Wild. Yeah. Oh my God. I thought it was an It brush because it was so nice. Um, so, let's go to the next product. Another individual wanted to know what the highlighter was. It's What's Up. And I love this. Of course, I should clean it up. Seems like I'm always in a hurry. What's up? It's got, yes, you see, it's almost out. I put it on the very top of my cheekbones. Right there, a little bit there. And then it's got this little thing to fix it. Sometimes this looks like you're sweating or something. Now this is Anastasia. Uh, the I better get my Anastasia Brow Wiz. This this has got a very fine point. I like this. It lets you get in there and do a little bit more detail from from the other one I just used. Uh, so, a little history on this guy. He's been watching his elderly mother, who was like 90-something. Now she's passed. Now, here's what concerns me. So, uh, he looks a little rough, but I never judge anybody by their looks. God, no. They might judge me by my looks. Uh, so, one of you... Uh, yeah, so my concern is that he may be living in his mother's house. I don't know. So I'm looking for, oh geez, um, this one lady wanted to know what my highlighter was and it was, um, it was from Benefit. So I'm gonna, I have three makeup cases. Let's see if it's in here. And I never buy makeup until I look through <laughs> all the cases, right? Yeah, here it is. High Brow by Benefit. This is what I was using. You wanted to know, so here it is. I did write underneath your comment. Um, so it's High Brow. And this, I have to sharpen it, but that's okay. Yeah, but I commended him for taking care of his elderly mother. I mean, my God, that is a job in itself. My little sister took care of our mom and uh, it just about crippled her. Yeah, I mean, well, she is pretty much crippled. Uh, so I gotta hurry. I do have to hurry. This is one thing I don't like. I don't know if you could see it. Oh, that, that's not one. Some of these, um, let's see, who is a superpower? I don't know if this is it. Yes, this is it's cosmetics. You see, you see what that happens there? You see those little fibers sticking out? See that fiber sticking out? That's the only bad thing about this one. But I have multiple, so I just use this one. So, yeah, I'm wearing, oh, I guess a conservative top. So where are we at? What am I talking about? Oh, this guy, yeah, he looks, he's got no hair. I like him either with a lot of hair or no hair. Now, this will be my third date in, in 12 months. I need to go to the grocery store, so... Um, I don't need to be ordering any 
booze, if you know what I mean. Plus, my God, I'm trying to lose weight. It's easy to lose weight with the price of groceries. Oh, my God. I don't have a slice of bread. I don't have an egg. I mean, no toilet paper. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. This has never happened to me before. So I'm getting excited about packing for my trip. Um, believe me, I travel very cheap. My friend only charges me, like I told you, for the price of the electricity that I use. Um, normally in, in the islands, it would be like two to 300 easy a night. And um, so I'm blessed this way. So I wanted to show you guys this. The videos I did yesterday of the magnesium and how it's changed my life, um, I used this. And let me tell you what, it looks beautiful on camera. Metalux, ready to wear. Oh my God, try them out. Ready to wear. This stuff is beautiful. It's called Bronze Smoke. Uh Bronze smoke, yeah. Now, because it's got such a fat tip, I do this. So you can get a more defined, yeah, I should try out ready to wear a little bit more. I mean, I bought this last year when I was living with my brother, yeah. This looks great on the camera, people. I used to hear a lot about ready to wear, but not so much anymore. So this has got some sparkles in it. So let's just uh, blend this in. Have some more coffee. Now, look at this. I love adobo, my God. Am I the only woman in the world that keeps salt and pepper on her makeup table? Oh. Oh. Okay. The last time I wore this top was at the um, Bud's Creek Dragway when I was engaged to this guy. The one with the tattoo on his back of his own face. He was racing a snowmobile. Now he was about the same height as I am. He had one of these inflated egos that was unbelievable. He had probably, I remember he had a $68,000 Boss Haas and uh, wouldn't let anybody touch it. But I think he was so little, I don't think he could hold the daggone thing up. You know what I mean? Um, he never drove it. I think he was scared of it. Because <laughs> I think it had a V8 engine on it, right? I do know a little bit about cars. I was racing at 16 and got thrown off the track at Old Dominion in Manassas. Somehow, my mother, someone ratted me out. I'd like to know who the hell that was. I mean, tell you what, it's a thrill going down the track. Oh my God, it's a thrill. To me, it was better than sex. Yeah. Yeah. It came over the loudspeaker and say, um, the 16-year-old in the 66, 289, metal flake green, please get off the track. Your mother just called, said you were a minor. I mean, that's pretty much what it was. I was so embarrassed. <sighs> yeah, I was very embarrassed. So let's go back to, um, yeah. <sighs> 
keep watching because I'm going to do a video about a threesome. Yeah, I know you all are just thrilled to hear about that one. Yeah, it happened by accident. Sometimes the worst and best things in your life happen by accident, right? Yeah. I know this looks weird to you guys. A lot of you guys didn't know what I had in my hair yesterday. It was hair rollers. Yeah, it, this thing... I am not a swinger, but this happened at Hito 2 in Negril, Jamaica. Yeah. It was the funniest thing that's ever happened to me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, my God. And what you think is going to happen during a one plus one plus one uh, never works out the way that you think it should, right? This is uh, one of my daughter's and my favorite color-rich Mont Montmart 129 L'Oreal. Now, if you've been watching... Um, this is L'Oreal. If you've been watching uh, Project Runway, they use all L'Oreal and their stuff is great. I've never had a complaint about L'Oreal. Never. About their products. Ah, uh, look at this. Oh my God. Ah. Uh, I've got to... Let me do that over. Jeez. Let me go just do the... To the um, oh my gosh, I'll just smoosh it around. Uh, the lip liner I buy, uh, a spice from Mac, but I can never find it. I think it's because I put it in my purse. These are the Buxoms. I got all their colors, and it lasts a pretty long time. I don't have an upper lip at all. I don't. Let's see, that don't work. See, this side has a little bit on it. Ah. Uh. This is from Dimitri James Skin, but he doesn't make these anymore. God. And here's the Monmart, the 129. I use multiple colors of eyeshadow and lipstick. It gives it a really gradient, nice effect. So, yeah. If you're bored with your life and you want to have fun and you're with a free spirit... Go to Hito too. Very expensive. I paid, um, I think it was like $11,000 for 13 days. Okay, so um, I think I should curl my eyelashes one more time. So, of course, we're going to eat Mexican. Yeah. God, is my bra that tight? Oh, my God. So, oh, my God, I've been doing these exer not these exercises. Well, I have been exercising every night, but go back and look at my video of about the fa uh, fascia blaster because uh, I've been doing it, right? very religiously. I mean, like a half hour a night. Let me tell you what, I look down at my legs and I go, whose legs are these? That fascia blaster really works. It takes your cellulite and just squeezes it in, compresses it, you know what I mean? It compresses it. Oh my God, my legs look so much thinner. Yeah. 
Yeah. Might be time to throw this one away. Yeah. So try the fascia blaster. It's expensive, but it works. She's got a whole lot of new ones out that are different sizes. Yeah. She she will show you before and after pictures of her own body. You know? Yeah. It's supposed to rain for four or five days straight. Uh, and then snow next Sunday. Yeah. I noticed one of the creeps I've been telling you about has been commenting under some of you girls' um, comments and I hid him. I hid him because I don't want any of you all involved with any of these creepy guys, right? So I watch out for everybody on my channel. Yeah, he's the one that thought if he gives me $10 that he deserves a uh, risque pictures of me. Well, I've only given out two risque pictures of myself to two people in my life, and that's enough. Not really risque. Just, uh, maybe a topless. Yeah, but my God, you don't give strangers a picture of your boobs unless you're in the spicy business. Then go ahead, right? I'm getting ready to put up two more surveillance cameras. Um, definitely. I can't say this guy's name because some of these guys are so crazy, they'll retaliate, you know? So the ups man came and brought a huge bag of 16 pounds of cat food. Oh my God, I can't hardly lift it. I had the Dum Dum kids carry it in for me. Mm-hmm. Then I call them the Dum Dum Kids because I gave them like a thousand Dum Dum lollipops. These poor kids around here are so precious. They are so hungry. They asked for food yesterday and I didn't have any. Didn't have any to give them. <sighs> now, what is this? I can't even. Christopher. I don't know what the hell this is. I think it's just yeah, powder. I put it under my eye so that when the makeup starts melting, it kind of will help it stay in place, you know? Now, I got to hit the road. Yeah, so in the middle of the night, I had that terrible nightmare. Terrible, terrible nightmare. Yeah. If anybody tries to break into my house, I got such barricades up, nobody would ever get to me. They'd break their freaking leg. Yeah. Definitely they would break their leg. I have a hatchet. Wasp spray and a gun loaded. <laughs> I can't watch that video that just came out about the cops. And that poor kid. Oh my God. Why? I don't know why people run. Oh, well, maybe I do know why they run because there are some bad cops out there. Really bad. I know. That's why I'm not a cop anymore, people. 
Do you ever wonder why I'm not a cop? I work with some sleazy cops. Some of them would um, wreck a cruiser because they were drinking in their cruiser. This was the sheriff. <laughs> yeah. All right. Bye.